Hello geometry students, this is our last math video for the year, so very exciting. Um, sorry we can't be together for this, but um, I'm thinking of you and wish we were together. Um, so this is again um, Algebra 1 review that to prepare you for Algebra 2 coming in August. So just a quick reminder, this is what we call a trinomial. It's got three terms um, and we usually call the number next to x squared the coefficient the leading coefficient a and then we have the next coefficient b and then we call the constant oops that's the same color c so if i'm referring to a b and c these are the numbers i'm talking about so last week when we practiced factoring we were talking about factoring when a was only equal to one Namely, there is nothing next to our x squared. So for example, we're just gonna warm our brains up real quick. We had x squared plus eight x plus seven. So we had x squared here, positive seven here. And then we said, oh, right, okay. So these two numbers that are gonna have an x next to it, green plus green is gonna have to equal eight x. So when we were trying to figure out, okay, well, what are the outside terms going to be? Well, we knew that this is gonna have to be x and this is gonna have to be x because x times x equals x squared. And then, well, we need seven. Well, what are two numbers that multiply to seven? Really, the only options we have are seven and one. So this seven times one equals seven, then we have seven times x equals seven x, and this is one x, so it is x plus seven x equal eight x. Yep, and we're good to go. One more warm up, just as review. Here we have x squared plus 4x minus 12. So we're going to put in our x squared, our minus 12. We're trying to figure out what are these pieces here. And just like we did last time, we know that these two empty spaces, this plus this other green, is going to have to equal our middle term, the 4x. And just like we did last time, we know that here x times x has to equal x squared. Now I have to think about, okay, well, what are two numbers that multiply to 12. So we have 12 times negative one. Well, I don't think those two numbers would add up to four X, so nope. What about six times negative two? Yeah, six minus two is equal to four, so let's try that. So plus six minus two, so we have negative two X here, plus six X here to six X, plus negative two x equal four x. Yes, it does, so we are good, so we've got our factors. And you know, I forgot actually to write it for this one. We have x plus seven when we write it in factored form and x plus one. That'd be the best. We have to write it in a final form. So here would be x plus six, x minus two. So what happens when a is not equal to one? For example, we have two x squared, minus 5x, minus 3. So we are still going to draw, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, our area model. And we're going to fill in what we know. Well, we know this is going to be 2x squared. We know this is going to be negative 3. And we can actually start to do a little bit of guesswork. Well, remember, we're trying to find the outer pieces. We know this is going to have to have an x with it, and this is going to have to have an x with it. This will probably have, you know, two times one equals two. So two X times X equals X squared. So then how do we get these missing boxes? Well, here's the um, technique we're gonna follow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply A times C. Remember the A value and the C value. So in this instance, that is, two times negative three and we get negative six. And then step two is we need find two numbers that multiply to a times c and add up to b. And here we have b is negative five. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna list out factors of negative six, like, okay, negative one times six, and we're gonna see, does this 
When we add them together, does this equal negative 5? Nope. What about negative 6 and 1? Yes, actually, that, that does work. So this is uh, very helpful for us because it's going to tell us these two numbers are the numbers that go into these boxes here. So we have negative 6x and 1x. So because of where I've placed it, I have to actually make a couple of adjustments. I can't have that 2 there anymore because uh, here 2 times nothing is, or 2 times no whole number is equal to 1. So I'm going to move the 2 here. So 2x times x. So x times 1, positive 1, is going to equal 1x. And negative 3 times 2x is going to give us that negative 6x. And 1 times negative 3 gives us negative 3. So we're good. We found 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 is our factored form. So I'm going to do a couple more examples. Um, and I'll let you know when you can uh, move to the Desmos activity when you're ready. Okay, so let's do another example together. We have 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. So we have our a, our b, and our c values. So let's draw our area model. I'm going to leave that blue piece up so that you can see it. We know this is going to be 6x squared. It's going to be negative 10. We're going to do step 1, and that is multiplying a times c. So 6 times negative 10 equals negative 60. Step 2, find two numbers. Remember, these are the two numbers that are going to go in these empty boxes that when we multiply to negative 60, it's going to add to 11. So negative 1 times 60 is not 11. And 60 and negative 1, nope. So let's try two, negative 2 and 30. Nope. Uh, what about negative 3 and 10? No, that's going to give us 7. Let's check, does, what about 60 divided by 4? That's negative 4 and 15. Ah, oh, yes. 15 minus 4 gives us 11. Great. So we're going to have negative 4x and 15x. So let's see if we can fill in the outside pieces now. We have x and x. So now we have to, it's not quite as obvious as in number 1 where we knew we had to have a 2, 6. It could be 6 and 1 or 3 and 2. Um, and my intuition says it's going to be a 3 and 2 because there's a 15 and a 4 here, which uh, I know that 3 times 5 is 15 and 2 times 2 is 4, so that makes me think 3 and three and uh, 2. So let's go 3 here because the 15 is here, and 2 here because the 4 is here. And okay, so 2x times negative 2 is going to give us negative 4. 3x times 5 is going to give us 15x, and negative 2 times 5 gives us negative 10. So we have negative 2x, sorry, positive 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 2 as our factored form. All right, if you're feeling like you've got the hang of it, you can go back to Desmos now. I'm going to do two more examples if you um, want more examples. Yep. Okay, so we've got 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. So we're going to draw our area model. We have 3x squared in the top left. We have a negative 5 in the bottom right. We're going to go through our steps. Step 1, a times c. So 3 times negative 5 gives us negative 15. Step 2 is what are two numbers that multiply to negative 15 that add to negative 2? So we have negative 15 and 1. That doesn't work. Doesn't work with the reverse either. Uh, negative 3 times 5, that gives us positive 2, so plus. So what if we had negative 5 times 3? Well, that would uh, be negative 15. If we add them, we get negative 2. So this is what works here. So we'll have negative 5x and 3x here. And now we're going to fill in the outside. We know this has to be x and x. Now where should the 3 go? I think the 3x should go here because we've got a 3 down here and then we can make this 1, positive 1, and that works. And that means that this has to be negative 5x times negative 5 equals negative 5x. Good. Negative 5 times positive 1 equals negative 5. We are good to go. We have 3x minus 5 
times x plus 1 as our factored form. Last example. If you're feeling good, you can feel free to move on to Desmos or join me. Okay, so this last one is 12x squared. That's our a value 12, b value 11, minus 15. Step 1, a times c, 12 times negative 15. I'm going to need my calculator for that one. 12 times 15, negative 180. So we need two numbers that multiply to 180 and that add to 11. So this is step two. So we got one negative 180 times one, that's not gonna work. Uh, negative 90 times two, that's not gonna work. That doesn't add to 11. Uh, negative 30 times, oh no, not 30 times three. I'm sorry, what am I thinking? Negative 60 times three, that's also not gonna work. 180, uh, so negative 45 and four, nope. What about five? Uh, negative 36 and five, nope. Uh, six, that's where we have the negative 30 and six, nope. Still don't add to 11. Uh, 180 divided by seven, that doesn't work as a whole number. 180 divided by eight, eight nope, doesn't work. So let's try 180 divided by 9, and we get, na uh, let's say, negative 9 times 20. Ah, yeah, nine. 20 minus 9 is 11. So we know this is going to be uh, 20x, and this is going to be negative 9x. So remember, these are the numbers that we get from here and here. And now let's fill in the outside. So we know we need x's here. Again, so this could be 12 times 1. It could be uh, 2 times 6. Or it could be 3 times 4. And so since there are so many options, I'm going to walk you through what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's going to be 3 times 4 because I have a 12 and 9, which are multiples of 3, and 12 and 20, which are multiples of 4. So I'm thinking that this is going to be 3x and this is going to be 4x. We'll see if it works out. So I need negative 3 here to make this negative 9x. And I need a 5 here to make this 20x. And so these two are check, check, check. And then negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So that worked out. So we have 4x minus 3 times 3x plus 5 as our factors. Ask lots of questions in the Zoom class or office hours or over email. I'm here for you. Have a good, I'll see you in the next video.